Hello and welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss an interesting uh, disease in uh, a lady who came in with this uh, particular problem. Um, and this disease is called Fuchs, as F-U-C-H-S, uh, dystrophy, which was first described um, from an Austrian back uh, many years ago in the 1800s, late 1800s, 19, and beginning of the 1900s. Um, and um, this disease is characterized by a dystrophy or problem with the inside lining of the cells of your cornea. So the cells of your cornea, which is called the endothelium, line the inside lining of your cornea and these cells are responsible for pumping the fluid out of your cornea and therefore making the cornea stay clear so your vision is clear. So as, we, as time goes on, these cells quit working and gradually the cornea swells which then leads to blurred vision. Um, it probably occurs maybe in 1% of the population, much higher in women, and it is an inherited process and it is an autosomal dominant inherited process with a variety of penetration. That is, not everyone gets it, but it is a dominant type inheritance. Um, it usually can start seeing what are called guttata, or little bumps in this endothelial layer, sometimes even as early as the 30s or 40s, but then gradually progresses and can start causing swelling of the cornea in, some, in the 60s and later. Um, as far as the treatment of this goes, this is a, um, in the beginning it's just a medical treatment and a lot of people are tried on a hypertonic solution or eye drop that's placed in the eye and the salt that's put on the surface of the eye is tries to draw out the fluid from the cornea and keep the vision better and that has, you know, some success, not that great a success. The other choice is, is many people can try using a hair dryer so you blow a hair drive from arm's length distance on your eyes and dry the cornea out um, using a hair dryer and that that helps to thin the cornea down and help the vision in some people. But if it gets to the point that um, this, it, someone's not seen well from this, then the actual treatment is to replace the cornea or in today's time actually only replacing that inside lining of cells. So prior to the last few years, these people had to have a full thickness corneal transplant where an incision was made all the way through the cornea like a cookie cutter and then a donor cornea was, was sutured into place and many times there was a long healing period before people had good vision with this treatment uh, and uh, recently there's been a new surgical procedure called the SIC where now just the that outer or that inner lining of endothelium and a little bit of the decimase membrane underneath that are removed and then just that layer is replaced and this is even can be done without sutures today and you get a much more rapid recovery of vision and still maintain the outer surface of your eye and cornea which gives you a better visual result and so now the treatment for this is now actually called uh, the SAKE and um, it works very well. So people typically when they have this they start complaining of blurred vision and a lot of problem with glare because of the cornea swells light hits the cornea and it tends to cause glare so people complain about blurred vision and glare and just not seeing right and eventually like I, like I said it progresses. Typically speaking a lot of people end up developing cataracts at the same time and so the cataract surgery is done first and then this is followed by the corneal transplant maybe three or four weeks later. And even if someone doesn't have a cataract but has developed severe enough Fuchs dystrophy then we usually end up taking their lens out anyway uh, and doing a cataract surgery type procedure before there's much of a cataract because you don't want to go back inside the eye after this has been done and do any kind of surgery. So many times, uh, you, in some cases, you have to go back, uh, or you have, you have to do the cataract surgery or what's called a clear lensectomy in a few cases where you're taking the lens out first and then have the cornea replaced. So 
the success rate of this has gotten very good and people can do very well with Fuchs dystrophy now and so uh, it's a disease that we have a, a great um, way of treating as far as surgically repairing that. So if you have any questions about uh, Fuchs dystrophy or anything else you can try contacting us through the website. If not, may God grant you healthy vision and, uh, and uh, healthy eyes.